We're going to begin today's show on the West Coast with a volleyball star who is adding to the history of a storied program. That's this week's five-star feature. Located just a mile from the Pacific Ocean, Miracosta High School has seen several talented volleyball players come through its doors. Miracosta is a hotbed of volleyball, you know, I mean, it's beach volleyball is pretty much born here, so it's a big deal. There's been countless Olympians, beach and indoor, college All-Americans. It'd be tough to find a, a program that has more alumni on the men's and women's side than Miracosta. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple that are close, but this is the mecca of a volleyball. Charlie Furbringer's family has quite a volleyball history of its own. Both of her parents won national championships. Her mom at Long Beach State and her father at Stanford. And her father also coaches with the U.S. men's national team. While Charlie also has had several other family members play volleyball, just being around her parents allowed her to pick up the game pretty quickly. So they both own a volleyball club and that just kind of, I just kind of grew up in the gym and just from a young age before I can even remember I was doing the clinics, jumping in and the older girls practices, doing anything I could and I just loved it so much. Volleyball is definitely in the blood and something she did from a really young age but she always played with a passion, you know, like I I was, we, we were really aware of not wanting to push her into something that she didn't want to do so she played all sports growing up but she just always loved volleyball. Charlie was so impressive as a young player that when it came time for her to choose a high school, Cameron Green and the other coach in the area were very interested in learning her decision. It was almost like LeBron's decision, right? Like we were all just waiting to see like, where is she gonna go? And everyone's texting me like, what, what's happening? Do we know where Charlie's going yet? I had no idea. I was so clueless. All I knew is it was Costa Redondo and everything about Costa was more for me. And we finally heard that she had chosen Mira Costa. It was like, my phone just blew up. Like, you guys are winning titles. Like, you, it, this is it, right? Like you're getting the best player. And Charlie has lived up to the hype. As the setter for the Mustangs, she leads the offense, and she also has the versatility to help the team in multiple ways. The setter, it's referred a lot as the quarterback of volleyball. Um, leader, guides the court, touches the ball every play. Your job as a setter is to make your teammates better by putting up good balls, leading them, and that's kind of the role I've taken in. She has the ability to change the game in any way she wants, like right? whether it's running the offense, whether it's stopping someone offensively with her block. If she wants to go back and serve an ace, she will. If she needs to make a play on defense, she'll just be there. The way she sees the game is always just a little ahead of everybody else. It's kind of like she's a step, she knows what you're gonna do before you do it. And then strategically, she has a mind for the game where you know she and I are on the same page quite often, which is great. After Charlie tries to add another trophy to Miracosta's collection this season, She'll seek to do the same at the University of Wisconsin. Wisconsin, right when I got there, it just felt like home. Kelly Sheffield and Brittany Dildine, they're uh, the head and assistant coach, and they do great things with that program. I want to go to a winning program, and that's kind of what the final decision for me. I think she'll start the second she walks in the gym, and I think they're going to win another national championship soon with, with her running the show and I think she'll be the starting setter on our national team before she gets out of college. I've done this a long time, 30 years, and I, I haven't seen someone be able to do what she can do at this age, maybe ever. As far as what Charlie's future may hold, her coach isn't shy about saying how good she is now and how much she can accomplish down the road. Her first day in here, she and I barely knew each other. I said, I think you're gonna leave here the best player to ever walk in this gym. And right when he told me that, I was like, Okay, <laughs> I don't, okay. But as I've kept growing and working as hard as I can, I've just noticed so much improvement in my game that he obviously has seen from the beginning. I don't think I'm wrong on that. I think there's probably some alumni that, that may disagree with me, you know, that have gold medals. And <laughs> but physically, I, I, don't think, I don't think it's close. I know it's a big statement, but I'm happy to stand behind it. I am fully aware of the alumni that have come through here, but she's different. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.